name is Rachel Bourne. I'm one of the veterinarians at the Wisconsin Equine Clinic and Hospital in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. And we're here today to demonstrate the placement of a hook bandage. Here I have Dr. Elspeth Swain and LB to show you how we place the hook bandage. As Dr. Bourne said, my name is Dr. Elspeth Swain. I'm one of the veterinarians at the Wisconsin Equine Clinic and Hospital. And I'm here today to help um, demonstrate how to apply a hoof bandage to your horse to some of the reasons that your veterinarian may instruct you to apply a hoof bandage. LB actually demonstrated a couple weeks ago. She stepped on a nail and punctured through the bottom of her hoof and we were applying medication to the bottom of her hoof and keeping the bandage in place. And um, she healed very nicely through that. Um, other things that your veterinarian may have you um, apply a bandage for would be if your horse is suffering from a deep thrush that's affecting around the, the frog of the hoof and applying, again, applying medication and keeping um, the hoof supported. The uh, horse also, as many of you know, horses tend to bruise and abscess from the bottom of the hoof and um, the veterinarian may instruct you to um, poultice the bottom of the hoof and the bandage can help keep that poultice in place and protect the sole. Other, other reasons to bandage a hoof is your horse may throw a shoe out on a trail ride and uh, in order to protect the bottom of the hoof until your farrier comes, you may just simply apply a, a hoof bandage to get you to that farrier appointment. And now to go through the supplies that you'll need. Most of these supplies should be kept in your first aid kit at home so they're readily available. First is a standard hoof pick to make sure that the bottom of your hoof is very thoroughly cleaned so that your medication can be applied directly to the hoof. And then you apply a, either a 4 by 4s or a poultice pad to the bottom of the hoof and then wrap it in place with vet wrap and duct tape. You can use the bandage scissors to cut off uh, the bandage in between days when you're wrapping the hoof. So now to demonstrate how to apply the bandage to your horse's hoof. If you have two people or a difficult horse, it can be helpful if one person helps you hold the leg while you apply the bandage. With her, since she's such a good little girl, I'm going to do it um, with my, the leg between my legs, holding the hoof like this, and then I can just grab from the ground on a clean surface all of my supplies. So first, clean out the hoof, very clear, clean. So have no dirt or manure or rocks stuck up inside around the frog and brush thoroughly. Then you're going to apply either medication to a 4x4 or just apply the 4x4s directly or a poultice pad to the bottom of the hoof like this. We use vet wrap to secure the 4x4s in place. And we wrap around the hoof a couple different times to secure it in place. You can use your bandage scissors then to cut the vet wrap. And this sticks to itself. Just press hard on the side of the hoof. Then we use our duct tape. And duct tape, as we all know, cures all things. So we have this, and you can start with special attention, especially around the toe. And we start circling the bottom of the hook and pressing it down in place. It is important to make a good seal for the bottom of the hoof as moisture can affect uh, your medication that you apply and we want to keep the bottom of the hook clean and dry. You want to make special care that you're not applying going too high up on the skin of the horse as you can see here so that we're not cutting off circulation to the coronary band. You tear it and then apply a couple more strips 
directly to the toe to reinforce that toe. Okay, and then when you place your hoof on the ground, you can then relieve any pressure that, um, that may be around the coronary band with some scissors. And just be very careful about this part. And then I just fold these pieces down so I just have hoof all exposed. And then apply one more piece of tape around that to secure it. So this bandage should stay in place until your next medication treatment and keep it cool in a, in a dry environment away from mud and wet and then simply use bandage scissors to cut down the side of the hoof and remove the bandage from the bottom of the hoof. Thank you for joining us today and please look to our website for other horse care and first aid videos.